Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron and today we're checking in on the one year anniversary of our RV Works Cajun Fryer. We had a lot of questions over the years that we're gonna answer for you and we have some pros and cons that we're gonna cover. So if you wanna learn more about the RV Works Cajun Fryer and how it's held up over the last year, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're just gonna cover a few things that have been asked by our viewers and our observations that we've had over the last year. So the first observation or con, so to speak, that we've observed about our fryer is that the paint doesn't hold up very well. The paint has started to chip off and we have some surface for us. Now we keep it in this shop covered, no moisture, no rain, but we still have some, some rust, as you can see around the exhaust pipe, around the edges, and around the shelf units. Now it's really easy to fix. All we have to do is take some sandpaper and repaint it. But just know, I guess from the heat and from it being raw metal that was just painted, that you're gonna have some issues and you're gonna have to probably do a repaint. And you really, you really don't have to repaint it. But you know what, if you wanna keep it looking nice, you'll probably have to hit it with some sandpaper after a while and repaint it. One of the other questions that we had is, hey, do you leave your oil in there at all times? And we do. I don't know if it's because of the clearance on the lid or, or what, what this thing is well made, but if you look around the top here, it has a seal mark from where the oil actually seals the lid to the body. It doesn't let anything in there. The other question was, do you have a problem with ants or do you have a problem with insects? Now, I really couldn't tell you the answer to that. I've never seen any inside of it, but this thing is made so the flu runs through the middle of it and it allows all the trash and debris to fall below that flu into that oil at the bottom. So when I do do an oil change, probably in the next couple of months or so, I can probably tell you if there was any bugs in it. But you know what, at 375 degrees, the, the bugs aren't gonna last. They'll fry up, they'll fall to the bottom. I know that sounds nasty, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. It'll take care of itself and I have had no issues so far. Another question is, is it easy to move? Well, that's one of the issues that we have with it. The mobility of it's a little tough. It only has two wheels on one end. It would be a lot better if it had four wheels with some chocks on the end to make it easier to move around. Now you can load this into a back of a pickup truck, but realistically, unless you have two or three people to lift it up in there to make sure you don't spill hot oil on you when you're leaving, you probably need to empty the oil out if you're gonna transport it. The other con that, that we've kind of run into a little bit is just that diamond plate cover on the shelf. It should have been a solid piece of stainless steel instead of that diamond plate. That diamond plate, it just has drippings that get along that diamond and it's really, really difficult to clean. So now onto the pros. We did not get this fryer for free. Let's get that out of the way. We bought this fryer with our own money at Bucky's. You can buy them on the RV Works website. You can buy them at Amazon, we have a link to that below but we purchased this one and you know what there are a bunch of pros now this is the only big fryer like this I've used you may have one or know of one that works just as well this one just had some pros that we have to point out one the way the design is on the flue the hot oil stays at the top the cold oil stays at the bottom and any of the trash or any of the burn up pieces fall down to the bottom out of the fry zone that allows you to keep your oil clean as you can see here, this is after about 50 to 60 fries. This oil is still usable. It still has clarity to it. It's not brown, it's not burnt up, and it doesn't smell. So we still have a lot of life left on this. We probably will change it after about two more months here as we get into fry season. We'll change the fresh oil. Like we've said, when we got this, we got a five gallon bucket of oil. It cost about $19.97 from Sam's Club. And that's all we've used all year long. So the only expense on oil has been $19.97. So to have 50 or 60 fries and only spend that much on oil, that's a heck of a pro. So if you think about it, over 50, 60 fries, you'd have 50 or 60 gallons, at least in my case, of oil that would be wasted. We'd fry once, we'd burn some stuff in there, we'd throw the oil away. We never filtered it. One of the things that I have an issue with, which is also a pro for this fryer, is that I am allergic to shellfish. So if I fry any shrimp in any oil, 
I have to throw that oil out. But with this oil, it allows those pieces and those crumbles of that shrimp to fall down to the bottom. I don't have any issues with that. So I can use the same oil over and over, even if shellfish is cooked in it, which for me works out great. Now your allergies, if you have allergies to shellfish, might be a little different than mine. But I'm just letting you know my experience with that, and that's a great pro for me because I save a ton of money on oil not having to throw that oil away. So the savings on that oil is one of the biggest pros that we have. We put that one five gallon bucket of oil in this and haven't had to change it since. So over 50 or 60 fries, we've saved a ton of money on oil. We've actually paid for the fryer within the first year just on the savings of the oil. Plus we don't add the oil back into the environment or have to figure out where to get rid of it at. So our experience with the RV Works Cajun Fryer, like we said before, we purchased this fryer. They haven't paid us for a review, but I can tell you it's solidly made. It does a great job. You can put out a lot of product and you know what? You save a ton of money on oil. So if you guys are in the market for a fryer or you have one of these fryers, you know what? This is a good fryer to get. So we'll see you guys on the next fry cook or maybe in one of our smokers. But thanks for coming by and we'll see you next time.